this video I'm going to do a no makeup makeup look and it's literally very simple to achieve and I didn't use too many products I used two products for the brows two products for the cheeks foundation concealer how many is that that's eight and mascara and a lip product ten products that's it I know it seems like a lot but compared to what I have seen for these no makeup makeup looks ten is not a lot <laughs> maybe eleven with the lip balm but still very easy and your skin and face still looks natural it doesn't feel you know overwhelmed with so many products on the face yeah I just wanted to do something real natural something quick literally five minutes or less so when I'm in a hurry this is the look I go for and I'll add a bold lip sometimes I love my bold lipsticks I wanted to do a gloss today I didn't feel like doing that um, I just wanted to do something lightweight that feels very moisturizing on the lips so if you guys would like to see how I achieve this stay tuned so today I'm gonna do my no makeup makeup look now a few of the people I've seen do these it's not a no makeup makeup look because it's layers and layers of foundation and layers and layers of makeup and I just don't understand. Let me tell you, my no makeup makeup look is actually minimal makeup. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. I'm applying my Skin Fix Lip Repair Balm. This is perfect for hydrating lips. The flavor I'm using is natural pumpkin cheesecake. I love pumpkin even when it's not pumpkin season. So oh, feels good, it smells good. They're all good. I have pretty much all the flavors, but those are pretty great. Now I'm gonna do my brows. I'm doing this from start to finish. I kind of started this one already, and I was like, maybe I should show that on camera too. Okay, so that's good. You can still find this on Amazon and Walmart. Perfect. Okay, so I'm using the CoverGirl Brow Liner Powder in shade 815. It's a lighter brown. I don't do super dark anymore because I have really bold hair and I don't want dark, dark eyebrows. So I use this. It's just like a little brush applicator needs to be thrown away soon because it's drying out but it still has some left in there so currently my eyebrows are microbladed so a micro pigment oh, it's the same thing <laughs> but um just filling in those sparse areas with this you can use any of your favorite brow products for this as you can see it's the lightest application of color is perfect not too bold or drastic like that I'm taking my Ben Nye cream highlight in medium you could also use a slightly lighter concealer for less of a harsh look I'm just using this because that's what I have currently I don't know what this is on this brush I used it for something yesterday it's really dark so now I'm just trying to get that off I don't feel like getting the brush <laughs> I'm using just an ink brush and I'm going to define this brush falling apart on me. Oh no, it's working. Okay, well, I'm still not getting up. <laughs> I'm just gonna use this little short, terrible, pitiful brush. But I'm throwing it away after this. I'm not gonna do this again. But it still has the brush attached to it, so oh, don't follow my clothes. terrible y'all make sure y'all use a real brush don't be like me <laughs> what if our brushes were really this short guys what would we do so now i'm gonna blend downwards as much as i can with this tiny thing this thing kind of cramps your fingers ouch now i'm gonna take my finger and blend it out even more for this your finger works wonders like so and then you can kind of take your finger and buff out the front so it's not so dark or you could use a spoolie brush but for that particular covergirl product your finger looks great too and then moving on to concealer i'm taking my ColourPop no filter concealer dark 40. i'm not taking as much as i normally would well i might why not it's gonna buff in really well anyway i'm using a concealer brush to blend it out I'm gonna take what's left on the brush and kind of lightly glide over my eyes. Lightly. Because I don't want that area super bright. I just want it evened out. So 
so you can't see like any lines on my eyes. Not lines, but any type of pigmentation. Now I'm taking some foundation, the NARS Natural Radiant Long Wear Foundation in Marquesas. I might use well, two little tiny pumps. I don't believe in all the foundation. Y'all do know that because when I first started YouTube, I didn't even wear foundation. But now I'm kind of addicted to it. But I still don't overdo it. So I'm kind of dotting this on my face. That's how I like to apply it. I'm using just a regular foundation brush. Then, you want to blend it in. I'm actually going to take what's left of that and start up here. So I kind of put too much. Don't believe in all that. And then I'm lightly gliding it over my eyes. It's just going to even it out the rest of my skin. Lightly go on over the concealer. And then continue with the rest of the dots, blending those into the, into the skin. People have different methods, but this works for me. Once again, take what's left. I have not redid my brush yet. Because it's not necessary. Unless you need extra coverage, then that's totally different. With the amount of coverage I like to have, it's not necessary. Actually, I could have just used one pump because I still have all this on the back of my hand. So, as you can see, I didn't quite go up to my brow because I like the area to be slightly lighter. I mean, it's like a highlight area anyway, so I don't go up super high, but I did blend it out everywhere else. But I do kind of smooth it into that cream highlight I used earlier. That way it's not a sharp line up there. Taking some mascara, the pure, fully charged, light up mascara. Just really to find those lashes and those lashes. I'm taking a Giordana color tint blush stick. It's a cream blush that comes in a cute little stick like this. Does it not twist up anymore? It's twisted up. And use a blush brush. I am using, actually, I'm not gonna do blush first. I'm gonna do highlights. I'm like dropping everything. I'm taking Wisp by ColourPop. It's one of their Super Shock Cheek Parlatus finishes. It's very pretty. I'm taking just an angled brush. Use anything. Who knows no makeup makeup look? You can still do a little highlight. I'm not gonna overdo it like I normally do. I love highlight, but for this look, I'm just gonna add a slight amount. That way my skin gets a natural looking glow rather than over the top like I normally do. This brush sucks because the hair is going everywhere. Oh gosh. Stop it. Taking my thirst. Oh, I missed a spot on my nose. So I just put a little bit of highlight. Nothing too crazy. Now I'm gonna go in with that blush, the Giordana Peach and Nectar Color Tint Blush Stick. I'm using a different angled brush for that. From Bare Essentials, this is their angled face. I love this for these. I'm building it, so I'm starting with a little and building it. They don't need too much. It's pretty pigmented. It feels so good on my skin. Nice cream, adds more hydration. It's perfect for this time of year. I'm gonna put a little on my nose. Got in the habit of doing it, I don't know why. <laughs> Guess what guys, we're almost done. Like, it shouldn't take all of that effort for a no makeup makeup look. That's, I mean, I've never understood that. Moving on to lips. My lips are nice and hydrated and primed. I'm simply taking the ColourPop So Juicy Plumping Gloss in Big Slice gonna give me a slight sheen. You can definitely do matte lips. No worries about that. But I'm applying this. It's gonna give me a slight hint of color. A little bit of juiciness. That is it. That's all you have to do. Like, don't take, it doesn't take 50 products for this type of look. Now you can feel free to add setting spray. I would actually recommend that, especially during the summer. But I'm done with the look, guys. That's it. Very natural. Now, one thing I am gonna do, I'm gonna take just a brush I used for brown highlight yesterday, and I'm gonna kind of set that color and kind of blend it a little more. That way it's not so harsh, but that's pretty much all I'm doing. That's much better. That looks good now. So nice minimal highlight, nice minimal blush, nice glow. If you don't want the glow, feel free to use a matte highlight here and also matte lips and 
you know, add some setting powder, but I love the dewy finish, so I'm gonna leave it as is. Hope you guys enjoyed this. No makeup makeup look. I've been wanting to do these, or do one of these for a while. This is pretty much the look. I do have a bold look most of the time, but this is pretty much the look I'm wearing to most of my fashion photo shoots and any others. It's so easy. It's so simple. In my opinion, it shouldn't take 50 products to do a no makeup makeup look. You shouldn't have to do this, this, this. You shouldn't have to apply 10 foundations, 10 blushes, 10 the lip products. That's unnecessary. In my opinion, I'm not trying to offend anybody, I promise. I wanted to make it as simple as possible so you guys could easily duplicate it and it literally could take you minutes to get out of the house after doing it. So I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, leave them below. Any requests for tutorials or videos, let me know as well in the comments. Definitely subscribe and also turn on notifications or click the bell so you get notified each time I post a new video. I will talk to all of you soon. Thank you for watching.